happy Sunday. So how are you guys doing today? I hope you're having a good Sunday so far. It is Sunday here and what I wanted to do was kind of bring you along my Sunday. My sort of I guess productive Sunday or what I like to get done on a Sunday to prepare for the upcoming week. A lot of you guys ask me what type of things I do on a Sunday to prepare for the busy week ahead and there's a few key things that I always like to do to ensure that my Monday morning starts out right. And I feel like if I can get these things accomplished, now of course I don't always get these things accomplished, but if I can get them accomplished, then I always wake up Monday morning feeling a little bit more ready and you know ready to take on the week. So I'm gonna bring you guys along. It'll be kind of like a vlog style. And we're gonna be doing cooking. I have a crock pot meal for you guys that we're gonna eat tonight and kind of meal prep. Prep. I have some meal planning I'm going to show you guys for the week. I'm going to talk about, you know, how I plan out my week and errands and all of that that I need to get done. There's always cleaning to be done and I like my house to be clean and ready for the week ahead. And you guys will also see some clips of the girls. So, so much going on this Sunday. I hope you guys are ready. I hope this will inspire you, motivate you guys for your busy week so you can start out on the right foot. So right now I am dressed to go running. So I feel like on Sunday, what I like to do is get a good run in. It helps clear my mind, clear my head. I kind of think about my upcoming week. And then it also gives me some energy for the rest of the day to get through the rest of the day and get through everything else I need to get done. I'm swimming. You were just swimming? Yeah. All right, you go have fun and swim with daddy, okay? Okay, but now I'm gonna get a treat. What? Nobody's doing that. Huh? I never told you that. I kill me and it keeps talking about everything that it likes and I can't stop listening so I'm all showered put a little bit of makeup on pulled myself together and now I'm gonna get the crock pot our dinner meal going it is chicken crock pot chicken verde I think that's what it's called super simple super easy it's only a few ingredients it's actually only two ingredients besides some spices. So super simple and easy. Something that I like to do on Sundays is when I'm preparing a meal, if I'm making a meal on Sundays, I like to make double or make extra so we have dinner for Monday night. Mondays are always busy, they're hectic, we're a little bit tired because it's Monday. So if I already have dinner ready and prepared to pull out of the fridge, it just it's just nice to not have to worry about dinner on Monday is all I'm saying. So. Um, and plus I usually have more time on Sundays to cook. So there's a little tip for you, but it just makes your Monday a lot easier. Hey, can you say hi? Here's Miss Emery while I'm cooking. Sleep in. Dad dressed them today. I know you guys don't care about what they're wearing, but I usually try to have them match or I'll put on somewhat of a, you know, cuter outfit for them. But dad pulled out their outfits today and I was like, he tells me that all he does is he goes up there and he p pulls the first two things he can find and throws it on them, so. I know you guys don't care, but I would have probably put on something a little bit cute for you guys, but not when dad dresses them. So it's super simple. You just put your chicken breast in there. You put oregano, garlic powder, and salt, and then I'll add my mild verde, salsa verde over top. Then I'll cover, turn it on high for about two hours. Emery, Emery girl. Hi, honey. <laughs> You're so sweet. Think I'll stop playing hard as a matter of fact. I will never. 
never ever pretend that I'm more than that It is hard that I know but I'm scared as hell Can you please just comfort me you know so well This is tough but I know we can make this work I'm in love and it feels so crazy So what I was just doing is I sat down I was kind of looking at my week as a whole and getting my meals planned, getting my grocery list set and getting kind of, I make a list of errands and things to a to-do list that I need to do for the week. And so it just kind of sets me up for the week ultimately. And I have a little friend here. <laughs> she didn't want a nap. I guess she just wanted mommy. So I'm um, holding her while I get all this done and I'll show you guys what we have planned for this week as far as meals and what my to-do list is. Okay, so I sit down, this is the meal planner template that I use, and so all I do, I don't really plan out breakfast or lunches, but this week, um, tomorrow we'll be having leftovers. Tuesday we're having pizza, a pizza chicken bake. Wednesday we're having tacos. Thursday we're having chicken tortilla soup. Friday, a lot of the times we'll just order pizza. We love pizza around here, obviously, you can see. Pizza on Friday, pizza chicken bake. We love pizza, we love chicken. And then Saturday, we are gonna be grilling steaks and or chicken sausages. I've really been on a chicken sausage kick. I found a brand that I really like. So, I don't know. I guess we'll decide at that time what we want. And then on Sunday, I'm gonna be making an Instant Pot chicken and veggie recipe. And while I'm making my meal plan for the week, I keep my phone right here because I we use Walmart grocery pickup and I can just add everything I need, all ingredients, all everything I need for my recipes, I just add straight to this app and then it goes in there and then I'll submit it and we'll pick it up probably Tuesday of this week. So it's just nice because, you know, picking up groceries just saves us time. And then, like I said, if I could just keep the app open right there, I can just add everything that I need. So the grocery list is made, the meals are planned. I feel like that's half the battle for the week. And then I sat down and planned out like my errands and things that I really want to accomplish. And um, the things I put on here, it's a variety of things. I have, you know, I have to sign up Avery for soccer. I have to call my mom about watching the girls in August. But then I also put things like I wanna be able to run three times this week. I want to go for a walk as a family three times this week, stuff like that. So it can be literal errands like getting shampoo at Ulta or just things that I wanna accomplish for myself that don't necessarily need to be accomplished. It's nice to put it all down so I can keep referencing this one big master list for the week that it's at a glance, I can just check on it, check it off by the end of the week, hopefully, so. Let me feel your love again Cause I've been running round in circles Screaming out your name Take me to a different place Just the two of us And we can stay up all night Kissing under street lights Doing what we want to Doing what we need to do Staying up all night Everything is alright recently started doing on Sundays is I will cut up some fruit and vegetables you know some just like celery carrots cucumbers something like that and then that way everything is washed cut up prepared sitting in the fridge because if it's there and cut up I'm much more likely to eat it Avery's much more likely to eat it and it's just easier and I notice I'm not like a huge snacker but when I'm home all day you know like I'll tend to maybe not that I'm bored but Sometimes I think just I kind of break up the day. I don't know like I'll randomly look for something just to munch on and if the fruits there the vegetables are there cut up then That's okay Um, if the fruit and vegetables are all cut up then I'm much more likely to grab them So I have celery that we're gonna cut up and strawberries and I think Avery is going to help me
She doesn't have a real knife, FYI. Strawberries? Dad! Avery. I'm cutting my own strawberry pieces. No way. I sure am. Oh, good job. So it is done. It's been about two hours. So there's the yummy chicken that we're gonna make. Um, and we're gonna have that with, we're gonna have that with this that I picked up at the store. I've never had it. And it's just nice cause you can just pop it in the microwave. Super yummy, healthy and easy. And there is, but I've been really loving this South, Southwest chopped salad kit from Walmart. And so I think I'm gonna add that to my meal. And I think Avery's gonna have some strawberries and some celery too. So should be a good meal. So it's about seven o'clock and Mike is upstairs at getting the girls ready for bed and baths and all of that stuff. And I'm getting ready to clean. <laughs> Look at this house. <clears throat> it's seriously a disaster. <laughs> And you guys know I like a clean house at the end of the night, even more so on a Sunday night before Monday hits. I want the house clean. Oh, even though I'm so tired right now, I am going to go and clean everything up just so the house looks presentable. If you guys stick around, I'm gonna give you some clips of the girls and you guys can see them before we go down for nighttime. Sunday would be complete without some playing with the girls. 
So the girls have had their baths. Hi, girl. Addison. But you, Miss M. Say hi. So, I don't know what you guys put your babies in, but they're still in these. This is the Halo sleep sack. They're still in these Halo sleep sacks, which are fleece. We have our air on, our air conditioning on, and it stays pretty cool in here. So we've just kept them in the fleece sleep, and because it's fleece and it's the summer, we just keep, we have these like onesies on them without the legs so they don't get too hot because their arms are out of the sleep sack. So it's just their legs that are in this bottom part. So we just kind of put them in these onesies for nighttime to sleep in. What do you think about that blanket, Reese? Do they look great, Mom? They do. Good job. I do. Look at this bow, guys. Did you change your shirt? Yes. <gasps> you. Do you want to do the laundry next time? Uh, no. You I don't know if you guys have that problem, but she is always changing her clothes throughout the day. No Sunday is complete without some baby snuggles, huh? Yeah, I'm mom. All right, we're gonna lay you guys down in your cribs. I had a good weekend with you girls. Did you have a good weekend with mommy? Did you have a good weekend with mommy? We're reading a book. It's bedtime, isn't it? Mm -hmm. What book are we reading? Can we? Can you show me? What book is it? It's the magic the magic castle. Oh, the magic castle book. Yeah. Disney princess. And I have to show you guys. There, you have to turn this page and look what I, you could choose either to win. Yeah, there's a lot of stories, huh? Uh-huh. Which one's your favorite? Well, certainly, well, I, um, that's my almost favorite, but, have a good Monday, friends. I hope I see you next time. Bye. So I would say it was a successful Sunday. I feel like I crushed it. <laughs> now, of course, not all Sundays are like this, but when they are, I feel good. I feel like a good mom. I feel like I accomplished a lot. I did something for myself, did something for the family, and just feel ready to take on Monday. So if you guys enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up. Since this is a different type of video, I wanna know if you guys like it. So let me know by giving me a thumbs up. Let me know in the comments down below what something that's a part of your Sunday routine that you always like to get done. And if you guys like this, I will definitely make more videos like it. So let me know. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell and I will see you guys next time. Bye.